Alright guys, here we're going to do a basic arrow build for a set of 3D arrows. Uh, this is how I do it. It's pretty easy. These aren't fancy. I'm not doing any knock tuning. Um, did bare shaft tuning uh, before, so I know exactly what length I need to cut these at. So uh, here we go and enjoy. So the first thing I'm doing here is checking for a wobble on either end of the shafts. So I'll spin the arrow and you'll see one side might wobble more than the other. Sometimes the wobble is just on one side. I choose to cut off the side of the shaft that has the worst wobble. So I'm just going through and marking each shaft what side I want to cut how far into the shaft I want to cut. Now we'll go through and cut off all the shafts and uh, try and keep in mind what side I marked, whether it be one side or both sides. This arrow saw I built myself, it's just a Dremel tool with a cut off disc, some aluminum angle stock. I measured out some distances from that cut off disc and made a little stop block with a clamp really easy build, something anybody can build. But we'll go through and cut all the shafts to size. This step here you don't have to do, but I always do it. We're squaring off the ends of the shaft on both sides. My cutoff wheel isn't perfect um, just because it's self-built. So if you do this, you can be sure that the insert and knock will sit flush against the shaft. So the previous step wasn't a must do, but this one is. You have to clean out the shafts. You build up with the carbon residue and it doesn't stick as well with the glues. So I go through with a Q-tip and clean all these off and I'll wipe the shafts when I'm done with them also, just so that the wraps will stick better. Here I'm cutting out the, the wrap material, which is just vinyl. I have a bunch of it laying around from doing signs. Um, you can order your own wraps from uh, you know, a lot of the big names like Lancaster and Three Rivers, Custom Kings. They all 
have that stuff, different colors. And these arrows are pretty basic, so just white would work just fine. Cutting this, this strip out to 8 inches so that each wrap will be 8 inches by 1 inch. 1 inch seems to be just about perfect for these warrior shafts. doesn't have much of an overlap when you go the whole way around um, so that you don't get one little stiff spot at the back of the arrow. Here I just use a uh, old mouse pad as some kind of a cushion so you can get even pressure on the shaft as you wrap around the, the vinyl. Just to add, the, the vinyl wraps will add some stiffness to the back of your arrow. So when you bear shaft tune, it's best to do it with the wrap on. Um, sometimes I will just weigh out the wrap and see what it is in grains and wrap the end of the shaft in some electrical tape at that same grain weight also adding weight for uh, the fletching uh, that way you get an accurate bear shaft tune whenever you are doing that process Here I'm putting the components together. Um, these are 600 grain shafts, but those inserts are really long. So with most of my bows being around 42 to 43 pound draws at my length, um, those long inserts will stiffen the shafts quite a bit. Um, usually I use a torch to heat up the glue, but it was hard to keep that in frame, so I grabbed the lighter. Lighter will work, but you'll get some of that soot on there. Um, I haven't found it to be a problem yet, so uh, usually this is what I'll do at the in the field if I have to fix one. Now, whether you use a lighter or a torch, you just have to be careful because you can't heat the components up too much. The insert will get very hot and it's not good to have that hot insert inside the carbon. The carbon will separate and it could splinter when you go to shoot it.
choose to use the true flight feathers as my fletching I've, I've found that they're the most consistent in length and the colors are pretty bright I've ordered some other ones that I uh, just really wasn't happy with so I stick to these ones these are four inch shield cuts they're right wings and then I have the right vehicle clamp set up in the jig to, to get a nice helical curve on them and they fly pretty good they spin fast I use the uh, the fletching tape uh, this brand happens to be from bear paw and uh, I, I like the fletching tape because I, I do an extra step some guys don't like it because in the humidity they they will separate but later on you'll see that I do uh, tip and tail with some glue and I haven't had a problem with them at all so this is this is what I do and it works great for me I like to run my feathers all the way to the back of the clamp because I like them towards the back of the arrow shaft. Um, I, I get better contact with my nose at full draw. That way I know that my head position is in the same spot every time. So the feather will rest against my nose a little bit and uh, I don't get that so much when I run the feathers farther up the shaft. Another reason why I like the fletching tape is because there's no wait time for the glue to dry. You can just stick it on and move to the next feather. You only need one clamp. You don't have to have six of them to do a half a dozen arrows at one time. It's pretty minimalistic set up this way. Here's the extra step that I was talking about. I do tip and tail, a little dab of glue with fletch tight. Uh, this glue doesn't dry very hard. It's, it's still kind of rubbery when it's dry, so it'll bounce off your shelf. It doesn't catch on anything. This guarantees that the, the fletching will stay on. I've never had one come off doing this method. So after glue up, I then set the arrows upright in something or lean them against something so they're standing up. I uh, don't want them laying down. The glue can run a little bit. And then I let them dry for a couple hours before final testing.
everybody has their own methods of how they build their arrows. This is just my way of doing it. Build some cheaper arrows that I'm not afraid to bounce off rocks during 3D because I will miss. Um, it's just part of the game. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Stay focused and uh, see you on the next video.